the one change I would like to make would be to compel uh, companies and all, all employers to um, publish not only their highest paid uh, employees but also their lowest paid employees including any subcontracted and outsourced labour and having published both the top and the bottom to then express the bottom paid uh, person as a percentage of the highest paid. Uh, this will then uh, allow people to see um, how companies value their lowest paid staff. Um, traditionally when people talk of pay ratios and comparing high and low pay they tend to express uh, well, the approach is more around what the top person pays and how many times more that is than the average or the lowest paid, um, which I think can allow the defenders of inequality uh, to start talking about things like attracting talent and market rate and all those cold economic uh, arguments that get trotted out. Um, Whereas I think if you invert the ratio and start talking about how the lowest people are valued as a percentage of the highest paid, you are then moving the debate from uh, one, of, one of price to one of value. Um, and I think that's what we need to really get to, which is to ask the fundamental question is, you know, are people there to serve the economy or is the economy there to serve people? In the UK, it will draw attention to uh, the very high pay gaps that exist uh, because the UK is obviously one of the most unequal developed world countries and a lot of people may not know that. Um, and I think it brings it home in a tangible way. Um, it makes flesh, if you like, makes real uh, the true nature of inequality. Um, and I think as a general way forward for it, um, equality arguments in the UK, uh, there is some evidence that um, the UK public, uh, whilst egalitarian in their mindset, um, are less inclined to favour uh, progressive taxation and redistribution as a means of achieving an equality, a, a more equal outcome. There was the British Social Attitudes Survey at the end of 2010, which showed that, um, but in the same survey uh, about 55% of British people thought that the chief executive of a large manufacturing concern should not be paid more than six times what an unskilled uh, factory worker was paid in the same concern. So uh, that's very egalitarian, uh, a ratio of one to six, um, far better than you know, the government talks about 1 to 20 in the public sector. The Greater London Authority talks about 1 to 20 with a wish to move to 1 to 10. But, one, you know, 55% of the British public think 1 to 6 is fair. So in terms of making progress, maybe the, the door to go through is around pay ratios rather than uh, tax and spend uh, redistribution. Um, so it's, it's really sort of maybe going with the grain of, of the public view on this rather than uh, against it. Um, and at any one time, if you poll the British public, uh, they recognise inequality as a problem. Um, they might not know quite how big the gap is, but they generally come in between two-thirds and three-quarters in favour of reducing the gap.